Oncology.tv at ASH 2013 in New Orleans. We're joined now by Eric Hedrick. He is the Chief Medical Officer of Epizyme. Thanks for being with us. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So your company's been in the news a lot, uh, people sorting out the expectations of what you're doing. Let's talk about just where the state of Epizyme is right now. Sure. So at Epizyme, we're focused on developing inhibitors of histone methyltransferases. And that's a novel class of, en of enzymes that um, increasingly are found to have a role in uh, oncogenesis in specific cancer populations and specific populations that are identifiable by genetic alterations. What do you have going on at ASH this year? And that's this year, um, we don't have any data being presented, um, but we have a present here in terms of, you know, interacting with our investigators and uh, investors and analysts. How would you describe the therapeutic strategy you have? Yeah, so the therapeutic strategy is really hinged upon identifying specific genetic alterations that make specific tumor cells dependent on the activity of the histone methyltransferase that we're that are developing. And so it really is diagnostically focused drug development where we're able to identify the patients of potential benefit even before we begin clinical trials. And we focus our trials on those patients and that increasingly um, has helped to focus clinical trials to speed the time of development and to actually um, increase the benefit patients derive um, when you know the patients of potential benefit. What's on the horizon with your clinical programs? So we have two uh, programs that are in the clinic at present. Um, one is an inhibitor of a histomethyltransferase called DOT1L. And that is focused on a particular subset of acute leukemia patients who have a chromosomal abnormality that affects a gene called MLL. It's about 5 to 10 percent of acute leukemia patients. And that inhibitor is in a phase one trial um, at present. Um, and a second inhibitor that we have in clinical trials, also in phase one, is an inhibitor of EZH2, also a histomethyltransferase. Um, that appears to have an oncogenic role in a particular subset of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, in addition to some solid tumors, synovial sarcoma and malignant rhabdoid tumor. And again, that's in early phase one testing. Where do you think we are in helping to improve patient outcomes in leukemia? Yeah, so if you look at acute leukemia outcomes um, overall, the advances have really been in the setting of specific identifiable genetic subtypes of leukemia. Acute promyelocytic leukemia would probably be the, the foremost example. And that is probably a relevant sort of example for what we're trying to do at Epizyme in that we're able to identify uh, the specific type of leukemia through the specific genetic abnormality and have a drug that really addresses that abnormality, that dependency, um, rather than trying to have a general effect on, um, on treating uh, acute leukemia. Um, and I think some of the shortfalls in trying to progress the treatment of particularly acute myeloid leukemia um, have come from the fact that um, so sort of general approaches have been used rather than specific approaches for specific subsets of patients where you're really going after sort of an Achilles heel lesion of that cell. And that's sort of the, the sort of principle of our focus in Epizyme. So you're anticipating trial and error. That's, that's the road you're going down, right? Well, I, I wouldn't portray it as trial and error. And in fact, um, it's sort of the opposite of that in a way. Um, I think conventionally with cancer drugs, you tend to start out in a fairly broad population, try to understand who benefits and who doesn't, and try to identify those patients. We're actually starting the other way around, so we can already identify the patients through studied genetic analysis um, that could benefit from our agent. And so we're really starting in a much more focused way. I, I meant in terms of like drilling deeper, if you will. Sure. So we're in phase one right now. Uh, we're in the midst of a dose escalation study, which is going very well. We've shown our drug to be very safe and tolerable, and maybe more importantly, um, we're seeing evidence that it has the type of effect on the leukemia cells that we would have expected it to have. 
from our preclinical experiments. So I think we're sort of right where we want to be in terms of the development of the drug. And I think the next year is going to be important in terms of us being able to further understand the activity of the drug in these MLL rearranged leukemia patients. Okay. Well, we'll wish you good luck in that new year, sir. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. Thanks very much. Eric Hedrick, he's the chief medical officer of Epizyme, joining us here on Oncology.tv at ASH 2013.